So in this video, I want to talk about why getting on a fatty ketogenic diet can actually help reduce fat on your liver. Now, this sounds counterintuitive because you would think if I'm consuming fat, it's going to fill up my liver with fat. But what makes a ketogenic diet successful, and I'm talking about causing a conversion from the fat on your body to ketones, which occur in the liver, is the reduction of carbs. For this to work, you must reduce your carbs. In fact, you're not going to be able to make ketones without, without reducing your carbohydrates. A lot of times when you see research on a high-fat diet, which is no definition, those studies are actually doing high-fat, high-carb diets. So you must reduce the carbs to get the person to burn ketones. And the liver is the organ to do that. And when ketones are produced, guess what happens? You automatically stop storing fat. You stop dumping fat in the liver. Okay? When you're actually on a high-carb diet, the body is going to store glucose in the liver, especially fructose. And one really important point about this is that the liver is the first area to show a reduction of fat. So when you start a ketogenic diet and you don't notice a reduction in your midsection, what you have to realize is that your body is using up the liver fat first before it's going to be using the visceral fat in your belly. So don't be discouraged. Just realize it's going to take time, especially if you have a lot of fat in your liver. And if you have a large stomach, you definitely have a lot of fat in your liver. And what you need to know is that you can actually burn up 100 grams of fat per day doing ketosis. The point is that you just need to give it some time for it to really work and realize if you're not seeing a lot of reduction in your midsection, it could be you have a lot of fat on your liver that the body is focusing on first. The bottom line is you can have significant fat reduction in your liver as well as a decrease in liver enzymes by doing the ketogenic diet. Real simply, I would recommend three things. One is get on the healthy version of the ketogenic diet. This also means consuming more vegetables because you want that fiber to feed the microbes so the microbes can actually recycle more bile and the bile helps with the elimination of the excess fat through the gallbladder. So that's an important point. Also, intermittent fasting will greatly speed things up. When you do intermittent fasting, you are stimulating the production of ketones to a very high level. So the combination of low-carb, and intermittent fasting is, is vital. People can develop a fatty liver just from being deficient in this one nutrient, choline. And it's very ironic that most of the foods that are high in choline are fatty foods high in cholesterol. In fact, the food that has the most choline is shrimp. Consuming shrimp and eggs, for example, can give you enough choline to prevent against a fatty liver. It's wild. And then you have liver, and peanuts, meats, scallops, fish, and leafy greens. Leafy greens and vegetables, believe it or not, have the lowest amount of choline. And you can even take choline in a powder or a supplement. It's lipotrophic. It dissolves fat on your liver to speed up the process. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.